Given the patch that I've already demonstrated over the last two tutorials, we can see here that we've got a select object and we're getting alternative bangs looping over and over again through the different outlets of the select object. We can then use uh, oscillators that we know about and also the different knowledge that we have about frequencies to output different frequencies in a loop over and over again as a sequence of specific notes. So, to put that in action, I'm going to create a digital to analog converter object and also an oscillator. And I'm just going to create one oscillator, even though I'm going to have a number of sounds because the sounds are only going to be played one at a time. And so now I want the number boxes. So I'll put in four of those, one for each of the different bangs coming out of the select object. And I'll just put them into position. And let's connect them up. So, this bang object to that inlet, and so on. Now, before I actually start dragging the inlets into the, uh, or the outlets of the number boxes into the oscillator, I'm going to set the values first of all. So, uh, I'm just going to run this patch and just click and drag on the number boxes just to bring them up to the values that I want. So, I'm going to start at a frequency of 110, and the second number box, I'm going to bring that up to double that. So, I'm going to go up in octaves. So, starting with a frequency of 110, the next uh, note will be 220 and the next note will be A4 so 440 and the last frequency will be 880 hertz So, just making sure that my volume is appropriate, I'm just going to bring it back into edit mode and let's join all of these outlets from each of these different number boxes and bring them into the oscillator. And I'm going to turn my sound on. So all of the different notes are there. Uh, the 110 is probably quite low, and just in my laptop, it's not coming out through the speakers too well. Uh, but uh, it's a very low rumbling no uh, note. If we have proper speakers and turn it up loud enough, we'd hear it. And if I wanted to alter that with some other kind of uh, objects that I know about, for instance, the V slider object, I could just easily insert one of those. And uh, we'll bring that over here. And. Uh, of this outlet here. I'll just bring the outlet from the bang into the image of the V slider and bring that into the oscillator. And I'll also just control and click or right click, bring up the properties of the slider. And I'll set the range. So it started at 110, but I'll bring it up to, uh, to 440. Okay. And just to see what the number is, I'm just going to drag an outlet to the inlet of that number box. And so we can have a lot of fun with that. Uh, but generally, that's how to make a, a sequence of different sounds all come through the one oscillator.